Welcome to this next video from Howard Piano Industries. Um, this is the first in a series of videos we're going to be presenting showing uh, some different pianos that I come across in my work as a piano technician or piano tuner. Um, you, we're going to put together several pianos in, in each video just to walk through what you might come across in a typical day. Sometimes those pianos will represent what I've tuned all in one day. Sometimes they'll be picked and choose, uh, chosen from a number of different uh, days based on what uh, types of videos I can get. But uh, this video, this first video is just showing uh, four videos four pianos that I was actually able to tune all in one day um, that I came across and uh, so you'll be able to see so I'm just going to go through you more we'll, we'll show you some so just some basics about a piano maybe some interesting things uh, that we came across such as um, things that maybe needed fixed or um, uh, just some small details about the piano so I hope you enjoyed these videos Here's one of our first pianos of the day that I'm going to be tuning and working on today. It's a Yamaha Small, Yamaha Grand, here in a church. Um, uh, I get, this one I get to, uh, to tune once every six months, um, uh, so it stays in relatively good tune. It's a Yamaha GH1, uh, so a small small Yamaha Grand Piano. Uh, this one's in fairly good condition, um, it's in, uh, because it gets tuned regularly, it's not not too bad of a job to, to tune it each time. Um, this one, I just to mention, I did um, about, I would say about five years ago when I first started tuning it came and there was um, some problems with the bass strings breaking, um, you know, so that I had seen, I think the first time I tuned I had seen there was like five or six uh, tied bass strings. Um, somebody had tied them instead of replacing them. Um, and we were running into issues with other bass strings breaking, so um, I actually replaced all the bass strings in this piano, um, and that it took care of it. It didn't, for some reason, it didn't affect the treble strings at all, and those none of those have broken. Um, so it's a it's a decent piano, and uh, so I'll look forward to tuning in this one today. Uh, it's, uh, it's one of my early pianos in the day here. Our next piano of the day today here is going to be a Kawai. Um, studio piano. Uh, it's Koi UST7. Uh, we're here in a school, an elementary school. This is one of the two pianos here they've got in the school. I'll be tuning the other one as well, but um, this uh, Kawai gets tuned once a year. Um, so it's it's usually ch churches and schools are a little rough environment for, for pianos. Um, uh, the temperature, humidity is up and down and, and uh, so they tend to go out of tune more than um, the average home piano, but um, this piano it's in fairly decent decent condition for um, for its age and so forth. But um, it gets tuned once a year, and it, uh, it's we're going to tune this one today. So it's um, decent. There's no other real issues or anything with it. Uh, pretty badly out of tune but um, we'll get it sounding good uh, with, with a little bit of work on the tuning so well it tuned up pretty good when it uh, when, when it finally got through it <laughs> Here, our next piano today is an Everett uh, Studio Piano. Now, this one I wanted to show you um, something special. If you come across an Everett uh, 
studio piano, they a lot of them open up a little bit different. The top on most pianos, you'll just lift the lid, but um, this one you want to check if you come across an Everett, um, Everett upright. On the back, they don't have regular hinges. <coughs> they just have um, have brackets, and I took these uh, bolts out already. Um, there's one on each end. These aren't hinged, uh, but once you take the, the bolts out, which you do have to take those out, then this um, this whole top slides slides back. You have to slide it back and then lift it up. Um, so it's a little bit different than um, than most uh, most pianos in the way that. Um, and the reason they did that was because it's designed for um, school use, and so they made it so it's a little bit harder to harder to get into the harder to get into the. Um, so for kids can't lift the lid and so forth to get it out and then once you've got once you've got the lid open then there's some brackets one at the bottom and one at the top or um, clamps I should say um, that you just flip those up on each side and then you can lift the the front panel off so this is our next piano. Uh, again, this one is in the same school as the Kawai uh, UST7 we just we just showed you. Um, it's again gets tuned once a year. Let's see, I haven't played it yet, but. <laughs> rough shape tuning uh, there's some buzzing noises there I'm not sure what that is yet but um, uh, but we'll get it tuned up and it's in the kindergarten room so it uh, gets used mostly for kindergartners um, but uh, we'll get uh, we'll get this one tuned up and um, we'll have another one down for the day well, here we are with our last piano of the day. I've um, already gone through and tuned this one, but um, this is an old upright. Um, it's a Whitney made by Kimball. Um, and uh, this piano looks like, I haven't looked up the age, but it's probably from the from the 1930s. Um, basic cabinet style, uh, probably from from the Depression era. So <clears throat> it's um, it's seen better days, but uh, you know it's, it still plays. Um, uh, doesn't have the greatest of tone and there's lots of clicking noises and uh, squeaks and groans and everything from worn out parts but uh, it still plays <laughs> So it's uh, there's some ringing noises from the dampers not working very good uh, the regulations all off but um, but they just wanted it tuned and so we got it there.